Oh, God. Guys, oh my God. I'm super freaking excited to show y'all what's in this box. Where's my knife? There it is. Don't cut my hand. This little knife is really sharp. So, you guys have been watching the channel. You know we have two power inverters. We have the Harbor Freight Jupiter Pierce Sineway, which we're gonna test in a future video. And then we have the Flamesum 2500. We have this inverter that's been on the solar generating station for quite some time now, and it's been doing just fine. But I'm ready to step my inverter game up, and I wanted to buy myself a nice, low frequency inverter and the reason for that is because this is a, this is a sun gold power 3000 watt continuous 9000 surge and apparently you can surge for 30 or i'm sorry i think 90 seconds or maybe 20 seconds i'm sorry 20 seconds of surge power which is freaking ridiculous because a normal high frequency inverter you can't get anywhere near that and i had problems trying to run my refrigerator with that flame zone inverter even though that's supposedly rated to 5000 watts when the fridge's defroster would kick on with the compressor in conjunction, it was enough surge to trip the inverter out. So, I kept telling myself I want to get a low frequency inverter. And this is still a 12 volt one, so I only got a 3000. Because if I want to go any more than that, we're going to go 48 volt. Between a low frequency versus a high frequency, if you're curious, is this has a, a big transformer in it. And what that transformer does is it gives it almost like a buffer for the surge versus the High frequency ones, it just uses a bunch of MOSFETs and whatever circuits are inside of it can't really handle a lot of surge. Once again, this is the Sun Gold Power 3000 watt, 9000 surge watt, low frequency inverter, rated at 12 volts. Damn, they packaged this thing very well, but they hopefully they have to because it's heavy. Out the way. Damn, this thing is huge. I was gonna get the 4,000 watt, but I was afraid it was gonna be too big. Oh God, look at this thing, it's a beast. Oh yeah, this is also a charger. I believe it's a 90 amp charger. So you can set this and it can also uh, act as an uninterruptible power supply if you set it up right. Uh, so I'll go ahead and get it pulled out of the box. I believe this is a temp sensor, and I think these are for the terminal covers for the DC input. Instructions. So we'll go through that and see if there's anything important. Oh, what is this? I don't know what those are. Oh, it's heavy. It's heavy. This is the highest quality inverter I've ever bought, so I'm very excited. Oops, sorry, my camera's getting caught on the fridge. Check it out, guys. It's a Sun Gold Power, uh, 95 amps is the AC charging. And it can do 3,000 watts max continuous, 9,000 surge. It's got the Sun Gold Power for venting, the logo kind of punched in the side of it. So on the side here, we got the GFCI uh, coming out. We got the charger circuit breaker. We got the inverter output circuit breaker. And then right here, you can put your line in, your line out. So your line in is going to be if you want to use this as a charger. And obviously the line out, if you want to wire this to like a sub panel, or power strip or something like that instead of just using the two plugs here so 
All right, on the top here, you got a switch that says, I guess, power saver. So this is how you determine if it's gonna use the battery or if it's gonna use the AC power and acts as like an emergency backup if the power gets shut off. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this is all gonna work yet, obviously. You get some status LEDs up here. This is your battery type, so lithium ion or lead acid. And then this is how you adjust the charging current. And then this just kind of tells you all the different types of batteries and the voltages and all, and all that, so. Here's what the other side of the unit looks like. Oh my God, it's really freaking heavy. That's what the bottom looks like, nothing there. Oh God. All right, on the back here, it's got a big fan. And this is our, this is labels for 12 volts. This is our DC input. These switches, this is how you set a couple different things. I gotta read the manual. This is for a generator start. If you wanna wire in a, an electric start generator to kick on if the batteries get a certain low voltage or whatever. And then you have a ground lug right here to ground the unit out. But I'm not gonna hook it up in this video. This is just kind of an unboxing and an overview. So hopefully in another video, I wanna get this thing hooked up. We're gonna have to build a pretty beefy battery. I have some cells coming in, some Ceno poly lithium iron phosphate cells. So we're gonna build a big old bank. I have a 250 amp BMS. I also did a video unboxing that. We got some new solar panels. So here soon we're gonna put together a pretty kick-ass solar power generating setup to kind of eclipse that one over there. And that one's been freaking reliable. It's been amazing. And I'm not even gonna take that one all the way apart. I'm gonna build a version two of that one and just kind of upgrade as I go. But I guess that's gonna do it for this video. So if you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. If you have questions, leave it in the comments and I'll see you all in the next one.